this game, talk of the town. Megan, we landed the airport. All anyone could mention was Caitlin Clark and the Hawkeyes. 22 and three on the season, 10 and one in this building. Number four in the country, taking on the Michigan Wolverines. You see her family there. One of her brothers is away from school for this. I think this is a good excuse to miss school. Absolutely, to see your sister do that. Six points away from an NCAA record. We'll keep counting it. First possession for the Wolverines. This is a team, seven and six in conference play. Middle of the pack here in the Big Ten. Felia looking for some help. She elevates tie game. That's what makes Layla Felia so dangerous. She can elevate and shoot over people without them being able to contest. Anna Stolke close enough, but you know who they go to. 22 from the outside. Oh, this is going to happen quick. She is three away. Just a bucket. A layup if you're Caitlin Clark. Wolverines back at it. Evans going up against Stolke. Okay. Back to back we go. I like the decision to get it inside early. Clark wanted to do it from the logo. Takes her time. Does she have an idea of how she wants to possibly break this record? But we'll see what the game dictates. Turnover by the Hawkeyes. The key for Michigan, too, is trying to dictate pace by slowing the game down and not letting the crowd become a huge factor. They've scored on every possession so far. This crowd giving the Wolverines some extra juice. All right, Caitlin walking it up. She says if she sees the defense laid back, her eyes are on the prize. Miss Q there. She was trying to find her teammate, Kate Martin. Caitlin Clark. Kim barnes Rico, the head coach from Michigan, telling her team, don't let this crowd get to you. So far, done anything but that. Recovered by Gabby Marshall. Here comes Clark. How will she go for history? There it is! The all-time leading scorer in women's college basketball. mission the most Caitlin Clark way to get a bucket I mean we are talking well inside the middle of the Mediacom logo you have a hand down when she crosses half court Caitlin Clark has been making people pay since her freshman year in Iowa City this shot is an elite shot a layup for Caitlin Clark nobody else in the country that's an elite shot for there are different rules for Caitlin Clark her family's reaction, <laughs> Megan. Her mom, Anne, said she might even cry. Wow, her two brothers there and decided that she wanted to build something here on her home turf. Caitlin has eight already. Just three minutes gone by in the first. Now it's Hannah Stolke's time. Remember, the last time Hannah Stolke played in this building, she dropped 47 on him and made it look easy. Caitlin Clark special enough, but when Hannah Stolke steps up in a massive way scoring, Iowa looks like a Final Four team. Dumped down low to Brett. That's Alyssa Brett. And this Michigan team, credit to them. A lot is going on, and, and they've stayed poised. The closeness of this group, it's something they always talk about. Using the bonds is Michigan's first time playing in this building this season. 
Hobbs, nice spin Ooh. move there. Jordan Hobbs has done a great job elevating her game for Michigan. She came in last season, didn't play a ton of minutes. So trying to get the ball to Caitlin Clark. Delia trying to recover Clark, going to the rim. Marshall from the corner. Delia, pump fake, that's high arcing. Two high school teammates going against each other right there. Gabby Marshall, Layla Delia, Stolke converts. Full head of steam, it's hard to keep up. Stolke, of course, a former track star in high school, going up against Delia. Hauls down the rebound. Clark. Trying to go for more. Yes! That's an and one opportunity. Let's put some of Caitlin Clark's history into perspective. She, of course, surpasses Kelsey Plum's record that was set in 2017. Kelsey Plum did it in 139 games. This is Caitlin Clark's 126 game. Oof. Oh, and by the way, she came into this game only 148 away from Pete Maravich. Pistol the, Pete. Yes. Oof. The all-time leading scorer in college basketball, period. That was Hanson on the mid-range. Clark off the screen here. Plenty of time to work on the shot clock. Caitlin Clark loves these situations. She times them out, sets her feet, catch! 14 points in the first. Okay, Cameron Williams. Cameron Williams coming off a massive game for Michigan. She was 23 points, three rebounds. <laughs> Trying to talk about Michigan. Kayla Clark's not letting us right now. She is putting on a complete and utter show. That's the same spot she broke the record with, by the way, folks. Layup, and that's her signature. She loves to go right to left on that step back, free to separation. That is like a layup for her. Converts on the four point play. Michigan trying to silence the sold-out crowd at Carver Hawkeye. Hobbs buries it. Hey, we're balling on a Thursday night. Hobbs has a higher release point, so it's more difficult to contest. This is Fearbach with the basketball. Kate Martin, aggressive. Draws the contact. Caitlin begged Kate to come back for her last year of eligibility. I wonder how much hot sauce she... Yeah, we gotta tell that story. She's got an eight-point basketball game. Hobbs has already been aggressive early. Williams, poised. Poised and gets deep positioning as well. Michigan's gotta get her a touch every possession. A falter, left alone. In and out. Hobbs, running the break against Rooker. She said, we have to move the basketball. We are great when we share the basketball. Of the all-time leading scores in basketball, Caitlin Clark is close. How about 126 games? That's unbelievable. Well, I talked about the fact that she was only 148 away. She averages 32 points per game. I'm not great at math, but I use a calculator sometimes. That's four and a half games. Twenty-one points already for the young woman with the basketball. Gets it to Martin somehow. Martin laughing her way on defense. Michigan trying to get into its offense. Williams attack mode. But you have to he manage that noise. Trying to give Michigan different looks, as they should, because Michigan's gotten the ball inside every single possession almost. They've had it. Iowa playing zone about 15% of the time. It leads to a fast break. She's at 23. We'll keep counting. Delia puts it up. Caitlin Clark sees a striding Hannah Stokey. 
Caitlin Clark gets a breather. That 47 points that Hannah Stolke had. A Carver Hawkeye Arena record. She's got Caitlin Clark as a teammate, folks. I was going to say, yeah, remember first quarter, so 23 times 4. Someone help me out with that. All right, time winding down here in the first. Hobbs has to put it up. A lot happened in that first quarter. It's an 11-point basketball game. But what, we'll, what we will remember about this now is signature move. From that Mediacom logo, baby. This place erupted. That was by far one of the coolest moments I think I've ever experienced. Caroline, join the party here. Well, Zora, Lisa Bluter called timeout, and you saw Caitlin Clark's teammates all run out to give her a hug on the floor. And then in that huddle, Bluter looked at Caitlin and said, we are so happy for you. That was awesome. Then it was all business talking defensive adjustments, and Clark finished the huddle by saying, keep going, which she certainly has, Zora. Amazing. And, and that's a kind of huddle that Caitlin Clark would want. Nice bucket there by Michigan. Okay, let's celebrate, but then let's get back to business because remember, we're, we're coming off a loss and we've got goals here. We want to win this basketball game. How about 23 first quarter points? I mean, are you what kidding me? Five assists already after that one. And it's clogged the interior so they can't get into the paint as easily. Hansen hangs in the air on that one. That was even a tough shot, though. She was contested, but nonetheless, they let to get it off. Clark serving. She looked at the basket. How'd she get it down to Stolke? It's perhaps the most underrated part of Clark's game, her IQ and vision on the floor. For Michigan, finding a way to get it in the middle, and that's how you break the zone. Clark likes this side of the floor. Gets all the way to the rim. That's just short. 37-28, a couple minutes gone by here in the second. Hobbs! Spectacular finish. Felt like a lot of contact, too, but Hobbs still somehow finding her balance. It's up. It's good. Good shot, Caitlin. Six for eight. 40 to 30. Clark. Guarding down low. Talked about 48 points being the Iowa women's basketball record for a game. Stolke draws two, dumps it down to Martin. Here comes Michigan. Four on five for the moment. Crockett blocked and met at the rim by Kate Martin. People love good defensive plays in Barbara Hawkeye. Martin timed that perfectly as the ball was coming out of Crockett's hand, so she's avoiding the foul. Heads up play by the fifth year senior. Crockett listed at 6'2. Meantime, Kate Martin is two inches below that. She got up on that one. Hansen will jab, stop, and pop. Great recognition. Hansen's a transfer from Missouri, so she's in her first year here at Michigan. Couple extra steps there by Sydney a falter. Well, Hansen's in a different role this season. Playing the point guard position, she's used to playing off the ball. Had to adjust. Meantime, Felia, that bucket makes it a four point basketball game. Clark, nice cut. Kept alive by Hannah Stolke. The extra effort. Clark. Kate Martin steps into a shot. All the energy surrounding this game, and it is very much a close one. I'm impressed with how Michigan has handled this crowd. Michigan consistently one of the best ball screen defenses in the conference. It's tough to go against. Marshall gets it to go. The Hawkeyes nearing in on 50 before the half. Foul down low. Evans, one of two Aussies on this Wolverines team. Kyra Evans and then number zero, Alyssa Brett. Part of the advantage of having Australian players is, you know, they've been able to play against pros for a long time. So they come into the college game and they can adjust a little faster because they're used to the pace and physicality. Long skip pass. Stop. That was like a free throw. Buck is looking. Who does she see? Marshall. She had all the time.
Bodies diving. Possession, Iowa. Already the season average in the first half. Playing through Stolke right now. Clark to the rim. A blue jersey has to come over and help to cut off that angle. And this is a mental mistake right here. It happens more often than not when you go to throw in the ball and you step over the line. Ten point game, 112 to go. When off here, you can watch them take the ball out. And right there, you have to bring two feet out to throw the ball in. That's going to be a great game. A lot better getting used to playing without Sydney Parrish, who they hope to return soon. Right now, offensively for Michigan, Hobbs has the hot hand, 14 points. That's number 10. Deflected by Kate Martin. Shot clock winding down. Philia keeps it. Before the buzzer, no. An eventful first half here in Carver Hot Pot. Caroline, let's bring you into the conversation. Tonight. I talked to her dad, Brent. <laughs> we'll get back to that. You got it. Well, it's a new Molly Davis from downtown. Caroline playing it smart because she knew Molly Davis when she's got the ball in her hands can be lethal from three. Molly Davis has been under the weather the last few games. He's finally able to get back into that starting lineup. You gotta love to see it go down. <laughs> Meantime, Michigan trying to get back to a single digit deficit. Okay, Caroline, double take. Right, let's try this again. So I talked to Caitlin Clark's dad, Brent, this morning, and you know, he said this week has felt fairly normal for their family, and he said Caitlin is unique in how well she handles this, and her composure is unmatched. He said we're obviously so proud of her, of course, and he said, but also there is relief now with this record. He said there's been so much buildup for this, and they're so excited. He said just to be happy. They're so happy and so excited just to be part of her journey, Zora. Thank you for that, Caroline. The ability for a 22-year-old to put all of this into perspective and shout out her teammates as she goes for a 30-piece. 31, start of the third quarter. Mom Ann knows, hey, let's go next possession, but keep shooting those threes, because right now she's on fire. 31 points after that last triple. Body board by Hannah Stolke. In the position early, played the angle perfectly, rebound put back. Hannah Stolke grew up watching this Hawkeye team. Megan, we had the chance to talk to her, and she said, I came to Carver Hawkeye cheering for Iowa, and now 15,000 people are cheering for me. Stolke now in double digits. This lead for Iowa remains in double digits as well. Ophelia trying to make something happen. Crafty to the cup. And that's where she's been so elite this season. That ability to draw fouls. Hannah Stolke will have to head to the bench. She has three fouls, so Addie O'Grady enters. Stolke already with 10 points. Ophelia gets them both. 15 point game. Gabby Marshall asked for it. Slip there. Possession secured by Michigan. Hansen tried to go all the way. And stream nonstop action all year long with Big Ten basketball, Premier League, the PGA Tour, and so much more. See the biggest games, the best players, and moments you can't miss live on Peacock. What do we see here in the first half on Peacock, okay? Shout out Kelsey Clark. 3,527 points was the previous record. She did it in four years at the University of Washington. Caitlin Clark had nothing but amazing things to say about Kelsey Clark. Clark saying, I remember watching Kelsey Plum play and it feels like she's in a very similar situation with Plum taking Washington so far in the tournament. Clark doing the same thing here at Iowa. It feels like their journeys really align and she did nothing but pay respect to 
one of the premier scorers. She not only followed Kelsey Plum's collegiate career, but she's following her in the W. My eyes perked up at that because the way Caitlin Clark is going to play whenever she gets to the WNBA is going to be different. And it's nice to see the transition of how Kelsey Plum has done it. And Kelsey Plum took a couple of years to become a lethal dominant scorer. She is so quick and athletic and gets that shot off at such a high level now in the WNBA. Clark's going to come in and it may take some time to adjust to the pace, physicality of the league. But make no mistake, she's going to have a very successful professional career. Intercepted there by Layla Filia. No numbers. Takes it anyway. Hang time there. She was off balance too. Off one foot. Layla Filia showing off a little bit in the paint. The crowd getting back into it. Davis had to look at the bucket. That's two threes. <laughs> Offensive foul. She's the best player in the world because she's got a box and one on her right now by Michigan coming out of that timeout. And still finding ways to score. Maryland last season and then boxed them, went through a couple different defenses at her, and it was really successful in slowing her down, but she's gotten so good at reading defenses quicker and adjusting. O'Grady finds 22. They get it right back to her. Contact on that one. That Nathan Clark never stops moving. She says, I want to cut hard, never stop moving, play through multiple actions. I want to get whoever is guarding me. And they always say Caitlin Clark is constantly moving deep into its offense. That's what Kim Barnes Arico wants to see. Shot clock continues to tick away. Camp Strader has the basketball tipped away by O'Grady. Shot clock violation. But over the summer, Lisa Buter made a couple of defensive adjustments, which she likes to keep close to her chest, she says. But it's made a world of difference. And talking to different Big Ten coaches, they have all said Iowa has improved drastically defensively. Eight threes for Caitlin Clark. It's pushing off hard. Back pedal, one, two. She gets her shoulder squared, her feet set. That's an automatic bucket. Sydney and Folter, a junior on this Hawkeye team who has had to wait her turn to get impactful minutes. She said, Coach Bluter every year would tell me, my time is coming, my time is coming. Now she's the go-to player off the bench. Over six and a half rebounds per game. She's become the X factor for Iowa. She does all the little things that don't show up in the stat sheet, like dive on the floor for loose balls, make the right play, sets great screens. Those things add up in big ways for championship teams. Cam Schrader, down low to Williams. Ooh. Trying to use the footwork. Williams started all black season. Had to change her role this year. In a sense, in your eyes, potentially be demoted, but Cam Williams... Coach Barnes Rico says she's relentless in her pursuit of excellence. Always asking to watch extra film, get extra shots up. Caitlin Clark trying to get open, called with the offensive foul. That's just her first. On how they wanted to guard Caitlin Clark, try to bait her into a foul. Second chance opportunity here. Camp Schrader. Clark sees a crevice. Under three to go here in the third. This is Jordan Hobbs at the free throw line. Michigan needs to consistently have other players stepped up, not named Ophelia. We can score in double figures. Kate Martin had some time on that one. Backboard got in the way. Seventy-one fifty-six. Deep into this third quarter. And Michigan really going big in this lineup. See Kyra Evans, Cameron Williams. They're going big and it's been successful because Michigan's starting to get to the foul. This will be the 15th and 16th free throws. Just looking at points in the paint right now, Megan. Michigan has 36 to Iowa's 22. Just validating everything. 
what you're talking about. I appreciate that. Bringing it back. That's your back. Thank you. We're teammates here. There we go. Teach Taylor McCabe. She can come down and do that. Nice job by Caitlin Clark setting a little screen for McCabe. Extra steps. A little bit of a screen, giving McCabe enough time. And it's more so Clark's just kind of walking Delia down. Nobody is anywhere near McCabe. Execution against this defense. They've got it down to nine. Michigan has switched up defenses throughout this game. They've gone zone, they've gone boxing one, they've played man. And each time, Iowa has been able to spread the floor at a high level and get open shots because they're moving a ton of space. That one's good. More of a formal celebration once this game ends. Clark keeps coming. 38. Add it to the total. Less than 30 seconds to go here in the third. 19 point lead. 20 has been the largest for the Hawkeyes. McCabe. Defensively there on Hobbs. Crockett. Calling for a horn set. Bobbles it. Taken away by Iowa. Caitlin Clug asking for the basketball. Slices it down with the bounce pass before the buzzer. Double, double. For CC. With that last dive. Recorded her 77. Double double. I like the dramatic pause. You know, I, I just want people to understand. 77, let it sink in. I, I mean, look, she's doing night in and night out. We've been so spoiled watching her because everyone's accustomed to seeing her score a double double. I mean, her numbers consistently have been excellent, but this season alone, 32 points a game, seven boards, eight assists. It's crazy. Leads the nation in scoring, second in the country in assists. She does a little bit of everything. Four rebounds, six rebounds away from a triple-double. Michigan has been pounding it in the paint. See the extension there for Kyra Evans. It's a great job by Michigan, still attacking. I was trying to clog the paint. Caitlin Clark, she's sitting at the top of the key when everybody else is in man-to-man -man defense. She's trying to help and clog the paint. Michigan exploits it. for her heroics and the history she made, including Billy Jean King. Legend. Lisa Bluter, to start this season, was reading Billie Jean King's book, Pressure is a Privilege, because that's the mindset that she wants this team to have. Caitlin Clark heads to the bench, 40-piece, the 12th of her career. Approaching nine minutes left. Alyssa Brett. Because of what she's been able to do consistently since that it's being put on campus. Caitlin Clark now has 40. Somehow got it to Kate Martin. So strong. She's tough. Makes little plays, but comes across here. Stays somehow shoulder square to the basket. And she's able to get that shot off. Off balance, momentum falling backwards. Gotta get into the weight room to make that kind of shot. Kate Martin, oof, like Houdini. Strength like that reminds me of some really hot, hot sauce. The strength of the spiciness. Meantime, Felia trying to will her team back in this one. Kate Martin hauls down the rebound. They go to Stolke, playing inside out. So most people go inside out, but Caitlin Clark, you know, she does all the types of interviews. She says that a three-pointer is just more comfortable for her than a shot in the mid-range. It gives you confidence as a player, too, to see the ball go in, just to get it the right spin off your hands. It's part of that mental aspect as well, coming in, feeling comfortable. Celia. Right to it. Add a deuce for Layla. Slicing. Oh, 
Hobbs choosing to keep it for herself. Second chance opportunity. Clark has Woodson on her. Little step back and goes right back to the cup hole. Talking about hot sauce, that's spicy. Putting them on skates. Clark's ability also to keep her dribble makes her so special. So she goes to potentially step back but keeps the dribble. So you think she's going to shoot, but then she can explode to the rim. No music. Caitlin Clark on that. A little bit, huh? She's so going to throw out another Beyonce line, maybe. Caitlin has 44. She can get a career high with the next bucket or tie a career high with the two right off the head. That is a record in this building, by the way. 47 points for Hannah Stolk. Oh, that hurts. Because Clark puts a lot of pizzazz on her passes. You know that one hurt. Martin feeling it. Three threes. Hanson, right back at you. And Michigan's done a good job of quieting the crowd at times in this game. They go through O'Grady. Caitlin Clark, little pump fake. Gets it right back down low. But it's that IQ and ability to draw multiple players and pass at a high level that makes her special when it comes to the next level. 13 assists for Caitlin Clark so far this evening. Woodson finding some space. The Hawkeyes. Fourth ranked team. How about another Big Ten team? Second in the nation, Ohio State. On a roll right now. Who Michigan beat earlier this year, mind you. That's how crazy this league is. Four shy, tying the school record. Just off on the layup. That's crazy. It's actually career high for her team against no one other than Michigan. Woodson gets the roll. Megan is referring to Caitlin's current career high, 46. Which came against Michigan in 2022. She's played good in her career against the Wolverines. Ooh, nice hook there from Williams. Williams is showing all of the skill sets right now as a big down low. Scoring over both shoulders, creating space, scoring all over the floor. I love how aggressive she's being in the paint. I love it. Caitlin Clark, a huge Kansas City Chiefs fan. She said that's the only good thing that happened on Sunday when we lost. But the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Michigan now at 82 points thanks to Woods and Oh. Forty-five points. Ties a career high. Both times she's had forty-six points. It's come against the Wolverines. Talk about a clock paint. They figure out a way to find Felia. This is a good Michigan team. This is an NCAA tournament team. They already have a resume boosting signature win against Ohio State earlier this season. A new career high. A new Iowa women's basketball record. We're going for them all. 49 points after that triple. Her ninth three-pointer. A rim run in Stolke. That it could not be more in rhythm for Caitlin Clark coming off. One, two step, Sierra style, shoulder squared, feet set. And she just set. All sorts of records this evening. Of course, at the top of the scoring list, the NCAA for women's college basketball.
career high in points, 49. Tied a career high from the three-point line, nine threes. She was also under the weather a little bit this week. Sniffles. And of course, in Caitlin fashion, didn't want to talk about it because she said, that's not an excuse. Hannah Stolke now heads to the bench. That was her fifth foul. See, the Hawkeyes have 103 points. Their eighth game this season, scoring 100 or more. And it's balanced basketball. 24 assists on 33 made buckets. It's difficult to defend teams that have such high assist numbers because it means everybody on the floor is a threat to score the whole time. Falter goes right back to her left. Kate Martin over Hobbs. Time winding down. The fans stand up. Hansen moves the total to 89. And that will do it. Caitlin Clark's night in all ways. And you got off to a hot start tonight. Already five quick points. You're coming down the court and you pull up from a logo three. What was going through your mind in that moment? Well, Holly, that was the only way to do it. So I had to. I told some of my teammates and my coaches, like, if I got a chance in transition, I'm going to launch one. And honestly, I didn't know if it was going to go in because it was, it was a deep one. But then it goes in and Coach Wooder calls timeout. And I'm just thankful to be surrounded by these people, this place. Um, I'm just so grateful, honestly. How did you absorb it in that moment? She calls timeout. How did you let this moment wash over you? I mean, just trying to enjoy every single second, um, you know, hugging my teammates, hugging my coaches, because I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for them, if it wasn't for these fans, for my family over in the stands. Um, it takes a village to become, you know, something like this and build something like this. And Coach Bluter's been doing it for 20 plus years. And I'm just lucky to be a small part of it. And she lets me be Caitlin. And um, for that, I'm forever grateful. They had built something special here, but you've taken it to a new level. How important was it to set a record like this in your home state? Yeah, this is a place I, you know, grew up loving and people have supported me ever since, you know, I was a young girl playing high school basketball in this state and they always pushed me to achieve my dreams and supported me every step of the way. And um, I'm just grateful that I get to wear Iowa across my chest and represent this state that cares so much about women's athletics and women's basketball especially. And uh, I get to live out my dream every day. It's fun, it's chaotic, it's hectic. How are you balancing living the fun and enjoying the moment with the calm in the center of this storm? Uh, you know, honestly, just go every day by day. Uh, be thankful for the people around me. Uh, get off my phone and soak in every single second um, of playing in an Iowa jersey. Uh, I'm just lucky. I mean, honestly. I think this is for you. Yeah. Enjoy it. Let it rain down upon you. Well, Coach, this scene is unbelievable. How do you describe the impact Caitlin Clark has had on your program? It's unmatched. I mean, you know, the enthusiasm that she has brought to this program and quite honestly to women's basketball nationally is amazing and I just love it and we need to ride this. Women's basketball all across the country needs to ride the enthusiasm that's going on in our sport right now. She got off to a quick start in this ball game. What did you think? She's already got five points and she pulls up for a logo transition three. That would be the one, right? That would be, it's, it's so fitting that a logo three puts her over the top. So I'm so happy for her. She's just a great kid. She's a great ambassador for our sport. We're so fortunate to have somebody like Caitlin Clark wearing 22. Not only does she break the record, she sets a Carver Hawkeye Arena record, a program record for scoring tonight. The flair just continues. Well, if you're going to do it, Holly, why not do it? I mean, do it up tonight. Why not? We're going to celebrate Caitlin right now. This is a special moment for her, for our program, and uh, we're going to celebrate a little bit.